In this video we will discuss the early treatment of acute pancreatitis. This is part of a series of videos in this playlist on this condition and for better understanding please do refer to the others in this series. In this cartoon drawing you can see the location of the pancreas. It gets acutely inflamed and it is a very painful condition. So how does one treat acute pancreatitis? Let's look into the important factors. The early treatment is quite universal. The most important part is pain relief. Due to the intensity of the pain, it is absolutely reasonable to consider opioids. This is pain medication containing morphine or its derivatives. Quite commonly, patients are connected to a drip where they direct their own pain relief called PCA or patient controlled anesthetic, where they can press a button and give themselves a small bolus of an opioid rather than having to wait uh, to be given treatment at intervals. For most patients, the PCA is quite a helpful way of controlling the pain. Since this is an inflammatory condition of the pancreas with far-reaching effects on the rest of the body, the patients require intravenous fluids and these are given typically through the vein at a reasonably, at a reasonably fast rate initially to counter the effects of inflammation, which usually results in a high heart rate, a low blood pressure, and reduced urine output requiring, requiring fluid replacement at a rapid rate. The types of fluids given are called crystalloids and these have salt solutions which are matched to the requirement of the patient. What about nutrition? If patients are able to eat, that is if they have a functioning stomach and they are not being sick or not vomiting, then patients may be allowed to resume fluids and oral intake when they can tolerate it. When that is not possible, a tube may be inserted through the nose that goes down into the stomach and then sits in the early part of the small bowel and thus delivering nourishment directly to the small bowel and bypassing the part affected by the pancreas. This is called nasojejunal feeding or NJ for short. When nutrition is not possible to be given through through a tube like this, and then nutrition may also be given through the vein, called parenteral nutrition, hence replacing the calories. Requirement for replacement nutrition is not an important factor in the first few days of illness. All patients require close monitoring and observation for development of complications and organ system failure. And this would include physiological measurements such as pulse, blood pressure, oxygen levels, temperature, but also blood tests to determine organ system function. For around 80% of the patients, this treatment would mean recovery, but how do we determine that early on? Determining the severity of the attack is an important function early on. To try and separate the patients who may have a mild pancreatitis from which they may make a full recovery within a few days versus a severe attack that may require close monitoring and support of the organ systems. There are several scoring systems in place that are deployed early on to try and predict whether or not patients are going to develop or have been admitted with a severe attack. Patients with severe attack may require treatment in an intensive care unit. These use a composite of blood tests and physiological parameters to arrive at a score that separates mild from severe attack. Other global physiological scoring systems such as the Apache system is also used when organ systems are failing. Now the organ system failure such as low blood pressure, high pulse rate, low oxygen, low urine output and failing kidneys are a dangerous development in the course of a pancreatitis and thankfully the great majority do not follow that path. So greater than 80% of the patients will recover without too much of a problem within a few days from an acute mild attack of pancreatitis. And the next stage for them is to treat the cause of the pancreatitis, which for the great majority would be removal of the gallbladder or cholecystectomy. If the cause is not found, then every attempt should be made to try and find a cause and treat that, whatever that might be, whether it is high level of lipids or whether it is high level of calcium or whether there is another cause that needs treatment every attempt should be made to do that. Unless the treating physicians do that, the patients are prone to a recurrent attack of pancreatitis with all its dangers. This ends this video on the early treatment of acute pancreatitis. The next video will deal with, with treatment of severe acute pancreatitis. If you have any comments, please do share.